Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dentiches and welcome back to the Art Survival video. And today I will simply explain to you why I don't really use Bellas anymore and why I don't really like Bellas nowadays anyway. So yeah, I'm going to explain uh, the reasons why I choose um, this one, the grass, grass instead of the Bellas. And yeah, that's pretty much it because I got so many questions about this as well. Um, like some of you comment commented in past videos about uh, oh your your pelas is about to break so you know go <laughs> take care of the pelas and then um, like why don't you get the pelas do you ha not have pelas or something or you know when will you get pelas or something like that but yeah it's pretty much about asking why I don't really use pelas or you know why I don't actually um, use it at all if any so yeah um first i will um i guess it's i guess the reason the number one is that um since december 2021 that is last year by the way uh since december 2021 update the big update that um you know re uh what is it like revamp all the npc system that now there's traders buyers and stuff like that there's specialists repair produce and stuff like that um Pelas now breaks by the way uh, if you haven't noticed already if you use Pelas consistently it will degrade over time and yeah it will eventually reach zero and then the way to repair that as you can see this is all the material over here um so yeah that's the first reason that now Pelas breaks um second um second reason will be you know uh you you probably have question if it's if it breaks you can just fix it you know uh, get the materials you can just fix it yes but this is why the number two the reason number two is that it is expensive unfortunately as you can see um, it requires 40 titanium alloy 20 armor plate and 40 high performance capacitor so you know these amount of things i i feel like it's it's not that a lot it's not that many but if you really use Pelas, you will notice how you will need all these materials, um, you know, like a lot of them pretty much just to constantly repair it. Um, yes, I do have the materials, as you can see, I have 800 of this capacitor, I have 900 of these, I have 100 of these. Actually, I do have almost a thousand as well, like 800 something. And then this sulfuric acid I also have, clean water I also have. But why, why don't I do that? Well it's it's still expensive though don't get me wrong uh, i have all the stuff but it's expensive and i feel like many other people also consider that pelas is expensive anyway so yeah that is my opinion though that's my reason number two it's expensive in that period uh number three still about the cost as well um if you um fix it from the specialist over here Apparently, you will need 300,000 of, um, what is it, 300,000 of iron nuts. If you are in the iron nuts uh, cities, you will need 300,000 of those iron nuts just to completely repair this. Meaning that every percent, it takes about 3,000 or I think it's at 2,500 or something. But it's almost that number, pretty much like, <clears throat> yeah, it's about uh, 3,000 iron nuts per percent and um that's actually expensive uh pretty much it uh now for comparison i have this crash over here um you know in other hand i really love this crash why um first the crash is actually the most uh i think it's the the um, the last vehicle that has high capacity uh high carrying capacity in this case, this is 40 tons over here. Um, now, I know that, you know, you guys have, you know, used Pelas and you pretty much carry like hundreds of tons of stuff in your inventory. And I feel like um, that's really unnecessary. Uh, like, I feel like, you know, if you watch this, you probably have clean water pinned to 10,000. And then after that, uh this one as well dirty water you pin this at ten thousand, and then whiskey come on now uh don't lie to me i uh, i know you some of you also actually pin ten thousand of whiskey uh, in your inventory but 
um, here's the thing, my question, do you really need those numbers of stuff in your inventory? Do you really need those uh, for your survivability, for your you know survival? Do you really need those? Well, obviously, the answer is obvious. It's a no. Um, so yeah, I only pin a thousand. Even this a thousand, I can actually just pin a hundred, for instance, because I don't think I will need to drink a hundred water at one time. So yeah, um, when I'm outdoor anyway. So yeah, the reason why I have a thousand is because sometimes I give away my stuff to people as well, so that I have to have some stuff to give. So that's why I pin those stuff pretty much. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it though um, if I don't give people stuff then I'm just gonna pin this at 100 and other stuff as well um, and then yeah this is it's I would say that it it adds a little bit of challenge as well it controls your um, inventory management pretty much yeah just like this this is my usual stuff I only have 20 something percent or 30 percent of my uh, grass over here and this is only 40 tons so i only use 11 tons meaning that i try to min maxing or make efficiency out of my inventory pretty much um so yeah it's more like management as well like how good your management is your inventory management is so it adds a little bit of challenge as well so yeah as you can see i don't carry necessarily carry 10,000 gunpowder granite I don't necessarily carry 10,000 Molotov cocktail. Um, I only, you know, have rifle ammo over here, only 5,000 of these. Um, and that's pretty much it. I have crossbow bolt and then this other stuff as well, like shotgun round, only at 1,000 because, you know, I don't really use those. The the weapons that I'm using is only the, the one over here, the rifle ammo and the PKM as well, you know, the Saipuha and PKM pretty much which all of them require rifle ammo that's why i pin at 5000 because sometimes i go outdoor just to hunt or you know clear animals as well go to the mine and stuff like that and that time i need i do need a lot of rifle ammo that's why i pin 5000 but even that still i don't really pin 10000 of rifle ammo unlike you guys so I know some of you pin this 10,000, pin, pin this assault rifle ammo 10,000 as well, the shotgun round, this pistol ammo, though you don't really use it, and then handmade rocket as well, you pin like probably 10,000 of these for some reason, so yeah, uh, it's just for management, you know, inventory management, I would say, um, so yeah, if you don't need it, just don't pin it too much, pretty much, so I think that that makes it better and makes it a little bit more challenging as well so yeah so that you don't get spoiled by the bellas pretty much and yeah that's pretty much it though um and then for the crash as well as you can see over here the the repair is not that expensive i would say it just takes 10 auto spare parts which you can get just by disassembling broken uh, vehicle in cities you get many of these and then there is also trader the cursed coin trader that can give you auto spare parts as well and then insulating tape uh, you can just buy from npc as well as cable and rubber parts as well and then for the screw you can just disassemble weapons and then for machine oil again from npc and then tire as well the same you can just disassemble stuff from <coughs> from the broken vehicle in cities pretty much you get a lot of this so yeah it's like cheap i would say like completely way way cheaper than uh the cost the material cost for pelas and the fact that crash is i think this is the last vehicle like i said the last vehicle that has highest carrying weight um before pelas which has 200 tons and this one has 40 tons pretty much so yeah there's that not really 40 tons i don't think I have the perk, maybe it's like 35 or something, yeah, I think it's 35 or 36 tons actually, but yeah, that that's still though, it's still, uh, the you know, it has the most carrying weight, uh, as you can see, I only carry 11 tons even, so uh, I can just use commas as well, but I do love grass because um, sometimes I hunt uh, animals and then I need carrying weight, so that I don't have to go multiple uh, travel just for uh, the hunting side. I hunt over here usually. Um, there is a radiation radioactive uh, area over here. This one. This one has the wasteland and the forest. This one has the forest and the swamp pretty much. 
So yeah, and carrying those from this location to my base in the NPC over here, it takes travel. That's why I use this uh, crash over here because it has 40 tons. I think I need about three travel and that's pretty much it. Um, if I use Pelas, I will just need one travel, but then again, it's unnecessary. So yeah, uh, it's a little bit too much unused carrying weight uh, in my opinion. So yeah. But don't get me wrong though, I still have, I still use Pelas um, when I want to uh, do like big travel, I would say like very big travel, like I want to go to, let's say, go to Berlin over here, I will most likely use my Pelas and you know, if I go to like, let's say, over here to this Vladivostok or to Japan over here as well, I think this is Japan, um, I will need you know my pillars as well or to Kandiga over here to this uh, northern east I will use my pillars and that's pretty much it um, and then uh, my base used to be in Yufa over here but since Yufa is now kind of dead city there is not really anything going around in the Yufa you can encounter peace anywhere now so I feel like Yufa is not that special anymore well apart from the mother bee and queen bee which I really love to clear so yeah, other than that, it's just unnecessary. There is no NPC there. There is no train station there. There is nothing, pretty much. So, uh, in that, you know, for that reason, I moved to Chelyabinsk. And I use my pillars to carry stuff from this base to Chelyabinsk. So, you know, just to carry stuff like coal, bricks, and yeah, pretty much everything that I need to carry from Yufa to Chelyabinsk. All my stuff, pretty much. Although I still have some of them in my, you know, in the Yufa as well, because... They just took so many, you know, they, they just need thousands of tons pretty much. So I will need to do multiple travel, which is a little bit time consuming. That's why I just let them sit there for, I don't know, undetermined amount of time pretty much until, I don't know, until the game died. Probably my stuff will be there still. Um, but yeah, I still use Pelas for those reasons. And that's pretty much it. Also, by the way, I have this... Uh, crash over here uh let's see the repair uh from the specialist uh because you will get shocked okay so first let's see this is at six percent meaning that it will require about 90 94 percent you know about 100 percent uh repairment now let's check let's check the specialist and let's check the repair it only needs eleven thousand. like you know it's it's crazy it's just that cheap yeah let's actually do that 11 <laughs> yeah repair plus 100 percent only need 11 thousand just like that it's at 100 percent you know uh pelas requires 300 thousand and this crash only needs 11 thousand meaning that that's about you know 300 to 11 so what is it uh the ratio it's like 1 to 30 pretty much which is insane that you know meaning that pelas is 30 times more expensive than crash so yeah there you have it that's like clear um a clear pass for me that i will not use pillars uh whatsoever pretty much i'm just gonna use my crash over here and that's pretty much it um so yeah that's why i don't really use pillars and i chose uh i chose uh crash better than pillars and that's pretty much it uh this is like i think again like i think this is the last vehicle that that gives big capacity before pillars let's actually check uh kamas is at 29 actually okay that's actually um you know like a bit low right uh, compared to the crash and then there's this zeal is at 17 ton and then gas is at 9 and then this at 5.2 even electric car only carries about 750 kilograms which is not a lot, if you ask me, that's why, uh, you know, I don't really like electrical as well. Electric car, I mean, so, yeah. Um, even stuff like helicopter as well, or the chopper, uh, I think helicopter actually, uh, yeah, this one. It only carries 8 tons, as you can see over here. And then there's this above, only 3.5. Uh, this one is just the same, so, yeah, there you have it. That's Even the helicopter only carries 8.6 tons. That's why I just still use crash. Well, yeah, obviously using the helicopters, you can um, go through water. But then again, if I want to go through water, it means that I will do a big travel. Uh, because as you can see, uh, there is no water up around here uh, from my way to over here. So, you know, I don't really need those. Uh, I don't really need those um, to travel through water pretty much. That's why I just use crash. Um, 
if I want to use helicopter, it will already be a big uh, travel. That's why I will use um, something else. Like maybe the Bellas, I will just follow the road. Or maybe during winter. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it though. Um, also, the fact that the helicopter is kind of expensive as well. Uh, but mainly, it's just because the carry weight is 40 tons. And as you can see, I carry about 11 tons pretty much. Or, you know, just about 26 to... 30 sometimes it can get to 40 percent but that's just kind of rare uh, you know uh, it's because of the diesel actually the you know i have 10 uh, of these meaning that i add another five tons so yeah uh, that's just pretty much it uh, it's just because the the what is it the weight of the diesel pretty much but yeah um yeah there's that it's it's that simple that's why i don't really use pelas uh, i because i understand as well that it's not always about Bellas. I know it's an end game, uh, you know, vehicle. I do have resource for that, but the reason is that I feel like um, I don't really need this. Um, you know, crash is enough for me. So yeah, why would I use something else that is way way too much for me when I can just use anything that is working fine for me? So yeah, there is that. Uh, also, by the way. If you use Pelas, uh, again, like if you use Pelas, then I feel like you will also pin a lot of stuff. As you can see, I only carry 15% and I only carry, uh, well, that's all, also because of the this one. If I drop the crash, yeah, only 4%. I only carry 11 tons out of 230. Um, and most of you guys will get tempted with this over here, meaning that you will, again, you will pin 10,000 of clean water for some reason. You will paint 10,000 of moonshine, you will paint 10,000 of Pepsi, whiskey, homemade wine, uh, coffee, and then there is the components as well, like 10,000 of this rifle shell, uh, pistol shell, assault rifle shell, like, let's be honest, who um, who of you here actually paint 10,000 of this shell, like, for, you know, no reason, you know, like, you don't need any of this, so, but you still paint 10,000 of this, you know, um, I know some of you does, you know, some of you do that, but yeah, and then 10,000 of poison, 10,000 of flint, like, you don't need any of this. Even 10,000 of wood. I know some of you actually pin 10,000 of wood uh, for some reason, um, which is, you know, like, unnecessary. Even this probably, titanium alloy, capacitor, you probably pin 10,000 of them as well. But yeah, um, it's unnecessary. It's a waste of space, I would say. And if you do that, you will actually be um, suffering from that yourself because... Um, as you can see over here, um, if you go to the conductor, the price will actually increase um, if you want to travel because you carry more stuff. Um, and let's say you have a lot of stuff, like let's say you have 10,000 of these and then 10,000 of these probably, I don't know, not that maybe, uh, like something else, maybe this whiskey and then yeah, some other stuff that are heavy, you carry all of this stuff and that will affect the cost of your train. Yeah, just like that. Just increasing those amount of stuff already give me 2,000 iron nuts. When, you know, before I think it's already uh, only at 1,000. Uh, over here, yeah, 1,400 actually. That's also still a lot. Um, meaning that you will need to manually drop all of those stuff, which will require a lot of time. Uh, however, if I use the uh, crash over here, if I use this, and then just drop, and then let's go here. And then I try to go to conductor and it's still 1400. However, um, I can still just, you know, dropping this. The amount of stuff that I need to drop will be way, way less than if I use the Pelas pretty much. So yeah, like this one would, I don't really need this when I travel uh, to train. Like I will drop most of this stuff. Maybe I will make video about that as well. Like what will be, you know, how much, how many stuff should you drop before you go to train uh, or you use train? I think I'm going to make video about that as well. But yeah, like this one, I don't really need any of these, a lot of those. Maybe this one's already enough. And yeah, and then go to conductor and let's see. It's now only at 500, which is, you know, uh, way, way cheaper. So yeah, it's all about uh, efficiency pretty much. So yeah, that's why there is that. Um, and that's why I don't really use Pelas. This is for that those reasons that I already mentioned from beginning to this time, uh, to this point. So yeah, um, I hope you guys also you know try to consider some other stuff as well because well yeah obviously this kind of stuff this vehicle will require diesel 
and the pelas you know doesn't need diesel but the the fact is that you can just buy diesel almost everywhere now um there is so many places that sells that like is have uh, and then Ryazan over here and then pretty much every town in the eastern city like this one eastern of Euro uh, but yeah is have and Ryazan there's diesel there so yeah uh, there's that it's already enough so yeah um, it's already everywhere it's unlike last year in which you can only get fuel from Tiumen and nowadays you can get them from multiple NPC and yeah, that just make, makes things easier and that's why uh, you might want to consider using crash or any other vehicle as well. Just for your need pretty much. So yeah, I think that'll be it for this video about me explaining why I don't really use Pelas anymore. And that's pretty much it. It's because it's expensive. It's, you know, it's, yeah, it's expensive. I don't need those in the first place. I don't really need, we don't really need to carry a lot of stuff actually. So yeah, unless we need to transfer or, you know, do some transportation, moving some stuff, then yeah, we need Pelas. But other than that, it's like, you know, um, other vehicle is just doing fine, you know, like Crash for instance, or Kamas or you know the the gasoline car as well like the black volga or the uh gas or something something like that but yeah um anyway that'll be it thank you guys so much this has been the arts royal video uh me explaining about pelas and that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed stay safe i will see you again very soon and see ya